My name is Brian Cazera, and I'm a Thriver. And I love triathlon because of all three sports. You're not just swimming, biking, or running. You're doing all three. I really do believe in like that whole get busy living or get busy dying, you know, and anything worth doing is worth doing well. If I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna put my time into it, I wanna do it as best I possibly can. If we look back to January of 2014, we were really excited because Kristen was pregnant with our third mm -hmm. child. I was coming off of my first Ironman and work was on track, life was on track. We were just loving life. I was continuing to train and I sustained a hernia injury, went to get that hernia repaired. And the surgeon, he said, a hernia repair went great, but I found a suspicious node. They identified it as lymphocyte depleted Hodgkin's lymphoma. I went in for a scan and they're like, you have cancer everywhere. And basically they're like, you have one option. Yes. <laughs> and so I started doing outpatient chemotherapy every other week. I think at the time even, we didn't try to stop and take it all in because couldn't. It was impossible. You know, okay, what do we got to do next? I, I got chemo on Tuesday. We just kept checking things off. You just keep moving forward. It's like, okay, I'm not feeling good, but if I go exercise, possibly that's going to help me win. And I have to win. Right? I have to win. I have three daughters and a wife who needs me. So I have to win. And we thought, oh my gosh, this has to be the worst of it. We were wrong. Did a scan in January about a month after my last chemo treatment and they say, well, good news is we got like 90% of it. Bad news is it's coming back and it's coming back in new areas and really aggressively. Quickly, yeah. I remember saying to the doc, like, you know, what, what are the chances that we're gonna beat this? And he goes, Brian, it's either gonna work or it's not. Heads or tails, right? It's just crazy. And he it's just so said, crazy. you know, all you can do is keep doing uh, what you're doing in terms of your fitness and, and keep exercising because that's what's gonna help you to survive. I had to go for inpatient chemotherapy for like four or five days at a time. I can't run <laughs> and I'm holding on to Mr. Drippy, that's my little chemo pole. So when I went in the second time, I took my bike. The room I was in was right across from the nurse's station. I hopped on my trainer and started spinning up and the nurse come banging into the room like, oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> on my bike, like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, I just continued to train. I went through a bone marrow transplant in May of 2015. And while I was there, my friend John said, if you beat cancer, let's do another Ironman the following year. So I now had 12 months to figure out how I was going to train for and finish another Ironman. And they obliterate his immune system. They bring his white blood cell count down to zero. So it was very difficult for me to go to a public pool, a YMCA, or something like that, because being neutropenic, the potential for me getting exposed to germs could be terrible. A friend of mine from my triathlon club mentioned endless pools. It was the right fit for our family to be able to put one of the endless pools here in our home where I would be able to rehab and train. You can do things that you can't do in a 25 meter pool. You know, swimming for a half an hour straight with that current, it really mirrors the open water. Through my bone marrow transplant, I couldn't run. I could barely sometimes walk or even stand up. But I didn't want to survive. I want to thrive in this life. And I want that same thing for my family. That's why I took my bike in the hospital. That's why we got the pool. Sometimes we felt like the oh, only luck we had was bad luck. For a while there, yeah. <laughs> But I was given a chance with this successful treatment, and there's only one direction, and that's forward. This year I got the opportunity to raise money for cancer in a way that I never expected. My coach called me and he said, how would you like to go to the Ironman World Championship and represent cancer with team and training? And it was like the dream I never dreamed of. Because now I'm not going for me. I can help all of these other people who may get this disease and they need the help and the support. For him to be able to participate and for us to be able to support him, it's gonna be amazing. And we're just ecstatic that we're able to do it while raising funds for such an amazing cause too. I'm not sure that it could have happened in a better way. 
this has been really like my post-cancer dream was to qualify and to get to run the hardest endurance race in the world.